Welcome back everybody to uh, No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and we're going to get started here with our next episode. So uh, guys, you probably noticed if you've been watching the series that uh, I haven't uh, released a video in several days. And the reason for that is primarily because um, I, uh, I've i been really, really busy with work uh, these last couple of, couple of weeks actually. Um, and so uh, my time has just been super, super short. And um, that's really the main reason why uh, you haven't seen any No Man's Sky videos coming out. And so I'm going to, um, we're going to record this episode today. And I might, I might be able to get a couple more uh, recorded too. We'll just have to see how things go. Uh, but I want to give you a heads up that I am going to be out of town on business uh, for the rest of this, uh, this coming week. So it's Sunday, uh, September 15th. So pretty much... Um, for the rest of, of this whole coming week, I'm going to be out of town on business and I won't be able to record at all, of course. So we'll do this episode, and like I said, if, if I can get in one or two more episodes, I will. And maybe stagger those out over the week, but uh, there's going to be another another lull. Oh, for a minute there, I thought I saw a, a carnivore. Another lull uh, in the series and before I can you know, kind of get back to a normal schedule and can s start releasing them again. So I just wanted to give everybody a heads up on that. Uh, I am very much enjoying this game uh, still, and so it's not a no, a situation of not gonna, you know of canceling the series. It's just really a matter of time. Um, so anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to jump on our ship here, and uh, looks like I need to recenter the screen. So let's do that first. Options, uh, recenter view. Does that feel right? Um, no, maybe here, there. That's a little closer. Okay, and uh, so the last, uh, the last place we left off uh, was that I was working on uh, the base. We're working on the base over here on the big plateau. And so I wanna, I wanna just follow as much as I can. I wanna follow the base quest line, um, so that we can get into the more advanced base items. Uh, and have access to those, you know, like for example, the the larger cons uh, uh, refiners. That's what I'm trying to say, refiners and so forth. Now I know I can get s s those two at the anomaly, but you know that cost. I guess we're gonna have to sit in here and wait for this damn storm. Um, that costs us salvage modules, and you and th th we need tons of salvage modules to get all that stuff at the anomaly. So if the quest can, you know, can give me some of those up you know, advance without me having to, to get them, you know, from salvage modules, I'd rather do that. Plus, I'd like to go through the quest anyway. So that's kind of what our focus is going to be in the next few episodes. Um, what my plan is, anyways, is for us to focus on on going through the quest uh, for the build, for, for bases, and kind of get through that so that we can then get back on track with the main quest and also, you know, follow some more of the Atlas stuff as well. Okay, so I guess I will just sit in my cockpit and wait for this nasty storm to abate. And when it's done, then uh, we'll continue uh, at that point. I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like the storm is done. Or very nearly done. So let's climb on out here and... Uh, where's my stuff? Okay, hold on a second. I should have... Did I land on top of my base computer? I think... <laughs> I, I should have a base... Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I did pretty much land on top of my base computer. Silly me. All right, so let's see. We have this expanding the base... Um, expanding the base quest. Uh, and it wants us to build a construction terminal. There's also one to construct a storage container. Okay, so looks like I got I have to do those two things. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. yeah, got to do those two things to continue this quest. So we have this uh, one prefab that we made here. Get see if I can get up here. Oh, and we need power too. That's right. Um, see, I don't know if the quest. I kind of got. A little bit out of sync I think on the quest I'm not sure if I have already gone through to the do the power part yeah I think we did do that actually I think we did that really early on 
Because I don't think it would have me put a construction terminal in before it would have me do the power. So, uh, that's probably actually the first thing we should do is figure out what we're going to do for power. Uh, in other words, where we're going to put it. Um, so, okay, let me think about this. Where do we want to put the power? We want to put it someplace, I would think, in kind of a central location so that we can just kind of, you know, use it, distribute it across the, what's eventually going to be a compound here with with several different buildings. So, I don't know, does it make sense to maybe put the power right here in this spot? I'm thinking, perhaps? I kind of would like to put it on, like, foundations, though. So, let's see. Ah, think, 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 think. I mean, I know I can put it just about anywhere, but it's kind of a thing where I want to I want to get it right the first time so I don't have to move it later sort of thing. And I haven't really given any thought to exactly what the actual layout of the base in, in general is going to be anyway. I haven't really built uh, an extensive base in this game yet, so I, I don't, you know, I'm kind of kind of new to all of this, I suppose. And uh, don't really understand at this point yet what, are, what all the nuances are of it and so forth. So we're just going to kind of wing it, play it by ear, and go from there. So if we put the power down here... Oh, I wonder if we could put it on top of... And that might not be a good idea, because I might want to actually raise that up higher at some point. Okay, so here's the power nodes right here. That's good to know. So it might make sense... Maybe what we ought to do is... So we got these nice flat areas, but we got a little flat area here, but then it kind of, you know, raises up a bit. Whereas every, all the way around on the other sides is flat, uh, is more flat area, you know, that we can put more buildings. So based upon that, I'm thinking maybe it makes sense to actually put our power on this side, and then we can connect it to, you know, one of those nodes there. Yeah, I think I'm liking that idea. All right, so let's do this. Let's go to the build menu. And we want to go to structures, and we want to go to uh, small, maybe? No, 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 large. Where are my foundations, like my like my metal foundation thingies? It wouldn't be specialist. Oh yeah, it is spe under specialist. Look at that. Okay, weird. Um, foundations, and we've got paving, and we got round. So what's the difference between th that paving and that one? Is one bigger and s than the other? Okay, that one's that one's that size. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, so this one's a larger pavement paving thingy. What about a round foundation? Hmm. If we did the round foundation, then we could put all of our power devices on this foundation. I don't know if I'd like that though, actually. The other option is... okay, let's go back to paving for a minute. We could instead... which one was the bigger one? this one. We could just put paving down here. I'd like it to be kind of level with the foundation there though. So to do that we're gonna have to kind of actually come up here with it, I think. Uh, it's really hard to tell if I'm actually square too. What is the camera mode? in VR. I know it's C on the on the keyboard. Snap, rotate, select, color, place, navigate, down. Uh, rotate axis. Boy, is there... there's got to be a camera mode in VR. I don't know. Maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't. Because now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever used a camera mode in VR. Well, I'd like to know if this is actually square with that, but it's really kind of hard to tell. 
it's really kind of hard to tell. And we're going to need to place it probably right about here-ish to get it somewhat level. Okay, so that was too far back. That was too far back and just a little too high as well. So let's see. Delete is A. Let's pick that back up. Let's lower this down and make it a little closer. So that's where it was. This gets it closer and a little further down. Let's try that one. Okay. That was really close level-wise, but it still, still needs to come this way a little more. Okay, so let's try it again here. Get ourselves more or less straightened out. And uh, pick that up. Okay. Alright, I need that stupid quest thing to get out of my way. It's in my line of sight there. Okay, let's try... here. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not perfectly lined up with the building, but I don't think it needs to be. I like that. Okay, let's go with that. So, uh, what happened? I lost my, my stuff. Uh, what were we... What, okay, structures... Specialist. Uh, foundations. And large pavers. No, those are little pavers. Large pavers. Okay. So let's go ahead and get those in like that. And I don't know if we need to go out any further than this. Let's think about this for a second. We're going to want, I'm going to put a bio generator probably right about here so we can run a wire up to there. And then we're going to put probably one, two, three, four, five batteries and then maybe one, two, three, four, five solar panels. <laughs> yeah, I don't, we definitely don't need any more pavers then uh, based upon that, that configuration. Okay, good. So let's see now. Uh, let we're gonna we're gonna build it just like I said. We're gonna build it uh, starting with the bio generator. I always like to have um, one bio generator. Excuse me, my nose is bothering me here. Um, I like to have one bio generator just so you know if you needed emergency power, you could plop some carbon in it and fire it up. And we want to try and line it up as best as possible on that power node uh, so it looks good looks straight and all that so let's go ahead and make sure we're more or less square here ourselves and then we'll go back into the build menu we want to go to power and industry we want to go to power and I want a biofuel reactor and again the name of the game here as best as we can is to try and line this up so you know what we probably ought to do first actually let's run a wire off of here and run it straight down. Uh, it's not going to go straight down, is it? It's because it wants to kind of go inwards a little bit. I probably can't do anything about that anyway. So, shit. If that's the case... Alright, here's what... Well, well damn it. Alright, I'm going to just temporarily... I'm just going to temporarily put it here and get it as straight as I can just as a guide for the biofuel uh, reactor. But then we'll probably re we'll redo the wire there. Okay, so we want to put the bio we want to make sure this thing is as straight as we can get it because I like stuff to be straight, not all messed up. My my joystick is very very sensitive on on rotational movement so okay I think I'm pretty square there and then we want to hold it back to probably about here cannot be oh metal plating <laughs> I'm going what the hell uh, we can make one of those I'm sure all right let's try it again power industry power and no uh, battery. There we go. No, not battery. 
biofuel. Okay. Okay, let's rotate our cells just a little bit that way. I'm using the white line there on the legs to uh, get it as line straight as I can. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly straight, but I want it to be close. Okay. Oops. Oh, it's acting like I haven't done this before, but I did this way early on in the series. Huh, okay. All right, now what we're going to do is... We're going to take this wire down. Um, you know what I'd like to do, though? Okay, yeah, let's take this wire down here. Now, one thing we could maybe try and do is, could we come off of here and go straight to the building? Man, I wish I, I, wish I knew how to use that overhead camera view, um, if it's even available at all in VR. So what we could do is pop this down here. It needs to go to here though if it's going to be straight-ish with that. So knowing that, what we could do is there and there. I mean that's not terrible. That's fairly straight, really, actually. It's not perfectly straight, but it's straight enough to where it's not going to bug the hell out of me. You know? And now, you know, now looking at that, we, we actually probably should have held the biofuel generator over a little more, maybe. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not going real straight there, but... I think I can live with that, to be honest with you. I think I can live with that. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a bunch of batteries. Uh, for this guy. And my thought was we'd go batteries across that way and then solar panels across this way. And so it's really just a matter at that point of how many uh, do we want to use. And that will, of course, be determined by our resources that we currently have available to us. Uh, so let's go to battery. Battery. There. So magnetized ferrite and condensed carbon. I think we have a pretty decent supply of all those things. So what we could do here is... I'm just trying to think of how many I want to do. If we go, if we line it up on the tiles, um, we could do one, we could do four. Maybe we'll do that, and then if we have to expand later, we'll, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> okay, so the other thing I want to look at here is that wire node sticks out I don't know, maybe about six to eight inches from the edge of that. And I don't think the wire nodes on these stick out as far as far. So we're gonna need to use our we're gonna need to use the line here of the tiles to as a kind of a guide and try and figure out how we're gonna do this. Um, but I'm gonna put this over here so that everything's even on the tiles. I know the biogenerator's not, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so if we line this up on this center line on the tile and then uh, see it's hard for me to tell. Okay, wait, how do I rotate? X. Oh, okay, now I can see how far those are sticking out. So they actually stick out further this way probably close to about as far as that one. So if that's the case, 
then we could probably more or less line these up right on the their legs on the on the crack there okay little movements little movements and I want to just tilt it this way no that's too much this is building is a lot easier to do in normal mode than VR mode in this game I'm just saying okay let's try that that's not bad that's not bad I mean it's not perfectly straight but it's not it'll work it'll work okay cool let's do four more batteries or I mean three more batteries rather uh, lined up as close as possible in the same manner here so we want to use that as a guide just trying to tap the stick here so I'm not over over moving and then one more on the edge here I gotta get up on the on the thingy on the thingy doodle turn that way just a little bit and then put it right there okay good now let's wire those up oh wait no uh... if I yeah I can do it that way I should be able to do it that way <laughs> okay yeah they, they all kind of went that way a little bit each time but that's alright it's okay it's good enough very very hard to get these perfectly straight and almost well I wouldn't say impossible but really hard to do it in VR okay so now what I want to do is I, I, I want to say four batteries is probably going to be good um, for what I'm planning on in this base but like I said I, this is my first time building any kind of an extensive base so I could be wrong about that when it's all said and done but we're gonna go with four and um, we're gonna also start with four uh, solar solar panels but remember we've got room to expand so if it turns out that um, you know this isn't enough juice later on when we really start getting the, the base going then you know we'll change things up at that point okay so let's go ahead and hit our solar panels so gold and metal plating so we're gonna need uh, eight metal plates and we're gonna need 200 no yes 200 gold okay so hmm gold we have I know we have on our freighter like a shitload of it but we can't pull that down here without going up to get it uh, okay well that's what we got to do let's go let's go up to our freighter and uh, get some gold I'm gonna do a save point I thought I had a oh that is the beacon okay so the base computer where is the base computer but I just man okay here let's do a manual save can I uh, I can't can I get to it <laughs> I f my base computer should be right next to that so I'm guessing I'm on top of it, but I don't see a marker for it all right oh there it is okay yeah <laughs> I'm just I'm just on top of it all right well let's just go with this then let's take off I just want to turn around real quick and make sure the base computers there yeah it is okay wait is it yeah it is okay uh, all right, let's head on up to space. Uh, in fact, that's our freighter right there. No, that's not our freighter. Is that our, yeah, that's our freighter. It's just uh, it's turned on its side, so because it's it's kind of a vertically oriented beast. 
so it didn't look like the right right thing uh, in fact yeah we're under actually no we're underneath it that's what the deal is So we'll come here and we'll get the gold. I, we need a 200 gold. Mayamatic. And we should be able to just pull that right from here now. So if we go to, uh, to freighter. And let's grab that and put it in our high capacity slot. I think that's all we need. We should have plenty of everything else that we need. If not, we can come back up and get it because it's not that far away. Okay. Alright, let's head on back down to our base here. really convenient to have the freighter right pretty much over our heads there. <laughs> Coming on back down to our plateau. Another storm? Goodness, we just had one. What the hell? What the hell, man? Okay, let's try and not land on top of our base computer this time, you think? We'll, we'll make ourselves a landing pad, too, of course. Alright, let's do a manual save. And, uh... Do we want to burn... all of our stuff? And just keep working, or do I want to wait this out? Let's go in here for a second. Okay, storm has abated. Whoa, 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 VR's freaking out. I, uh, I made my eight metal plates while I was waiting. Let's get our, our light on here, too, because it's kind of dark. All right, now we should be able to go ahead and put in our solar panels. And we're going to just line those up with the batteries in the center of this next tile for now. You know one thing maybe I ought to do, though? Hmm. I'm going to think about this for a second. If I need to expand the batteries later, it might be better to, to leave a, this row here for batteries, start the solar panels on this row, and then we can ex, you know extend the platforms out further later on if we need to expand beyond that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Otherwise, I'd have to either take the solar panels up and, you know, lose the half the materials and redo it, or I'd have to alternate the batteries and the solar panels, which I could do. I mean, that that wouldn't hurt either, but I think it makes more sense to start these here. So it's just really a matter of trying to get them as lined up as we can. It looks pretty close there, I would say. Okay, let's turn our cell, well, no, I think we're actually rotated, we might need to go this way a little bit. Again, these aren't going to be perfectly lined up, I'd be able to get them closer if I was in normal mode, but this will do. Now oh, come on, get the hell out of the way, you stupid quest thing. There we go. Okay, now, and you know we do have these, we do have these two squares here too. So what we could do, if it turns out we need to expand in the future, we have two more s squares here for solar panels and then we could start another row of batteries uh, probably somewhere right down the center 
everything it's not lined up perfectly but like I said I'm just gonna go with it in hindsight though what I probably should have done if I really wanted to get like super nice and straight with this we could have put those in the center of the tiles and flip this thing around that way and put it out further this way so you know it still lined up somewhat straight with that but you know what it's okay it works I don't know why the hell they don't put four connection nodes on this like they do on everything else it would have made things a lot easier had they done that but they didn't so it is what it is okay let's do our wiring here so we want power and wiring okay and we'll connect to there and to there If I would have spaced them out a little more, I could have used the, uh, you know, the center ones there. But this works. I think this works okay. You know, another thing that's a little goofy in my estimation is that, you know, we are on a level surface here. But that node is not level with that node. See, there's a little bit of slant to it. And this one's not level with that one. So you would think... They would make all those levels so that everything was nice and straight if you wanted to get it that way. But anyway, it's not. All right, so power is connected. So we just need to wait uh, for morning for the sun to come out so that uh, it can start charging uh, the batteries. We could, I guess we could throw some carbon in there, but I don't really need to do that yet. Okay, so the next order of business here is um, the quest wants me to do my storage containers. Um, and we do need to do that. So uh, we got to figure out where we're going to put those. Now we could put those up on the hill here, I suppose, if we wanted to. Because again, I want to save, you know, these flatter areas around the building, you know, to place more prefabs and more, more structures. So, let's see. If we did the storage up here, the idea was would be we would just do like a wall of storage containers. Uh, so it's really just a question of how we want to go about making that work. We could extend <clears throat> the platform you know the pavers out that way some more and then line them up in a wall kind of a across that way maybe and maybe make them too high I'm thinking uh, the only thing I don't like about that though is if we make them too high they could obstruct the view not that we can really see anything from that building anyway, so that's probably not really an issue. Alright, let's pull one out. So let's go to storage. Why do I only have one storage container? How come the other ones aren't showing up? So I'm just trying to get a sense for how high these are going to be. So can we not put these on on pavers? They have to be on the ground, huh? Okay. That's kind of weird. I wonder why you can't... Or is it just because there's not enough room? Okay, hold on a sec. How... Um, let's go to structures... Specialist... Uh, foundations and pavers. Those are the little ones. What does that cost? That's just... Oh, those are cheap. Okay, let's just put some more in here. Oops. Yeah, yeah, I know all about that. Thank you very much for reminding me.
Are you kidding me? We're really short on pure ferrite, of all things? Uh, let's see. Well, obviously we are. Do we have a bunch on a freighter? Otherwise, I'm going to have to go farm it. No, we do not. Okay. All right, well, I um, I think I'm going to have to go farm up some more ferrite dust. And I also think that we're probably out of time. Let me look at something here real quick. Yeah. Oh. Um... Oh, look at that <laughs> stupid timer. I, I use a web-based timer because that way I don't have to fiddle with my iPhone with this mask on. The problem with it, though, is that if I minimize the web page, then the timer doesn't actually go off. I mean, it does, but it doesn't sound until I bring the web page back up. So it's kind of not that useful. All right, well, we're out of time, guys. So uh, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to farm up a, a bunch of pure fare, right? And then uh, when I bring you back, we will basically just continue working on the base here. That's that's what I want to do over the next few episodes is just get this base not necessarily completely built up, but at least far enough along to where, you know, we're following the quest and, and you know, getting ourselves a nice little place set up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Consider sharing out the video and leaving comments. Those things do help uh, the channel, and I do appreciate it. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.